Look, uh, New York City gave Amazon a real opportunity here. And all we asked was that they be a good neighbor and be part of the community. And clearly, uh, they weren't ready to do that. And it's very disappointing. There was no dialogue. There was no effort to work together. I, I don't understand it. I really don't. Um, yeah, we are uh, a tough city, but they should have known that coming in. And, um, you know, other people will take their place. Look, it's Amazon's choice in the end. I mean, they created a national competition. Uh, you could talk about why they even had the right to do that, but that's the reality of our country right now. I don't think it's really fair to pit city against city and state against state, but that's the rules of the game right now. And everyone played by those rules. And uh, they got a fair deal. So, sure, there were some voices that raised critiques, but that's part of democracy. I really think in the end this was Amazon's choice. I think it was a huge mistake. And they have to be held accountable for their own decisions. The company uh, had the power to make the decision, not, not the politicians. I think a lot of those politicians were mistaken. I think they did not value the jobs and they didn't understand that their constituents needed those jobs and we needed that revenue uh, to keep being a city that really works to uh, help people. But uh, no, in the end, let's be clear, Amazon had the power to make this decision. They had the power to come and have a conversation about uh, things they wanted to address if they were so concerned. There wasn't a shred of dialogue. Out of nowhere, they just took their ball and went home. So, Mr. Mayor, when did you become aware that the deal was in jeopardy? And could you have done anything to save it? And late, you... late this morning for the very first time, no warning, no dialogue, just a fait accompli. And uh, I had had a conversation with a senior Amazon official 48 hours ago. And there was no indication uh, of this kind of problem. And I think it's really unfair to the people in New York City. Uh, that they would just make such a decision so arbitrarily. How did you learn about it? I uh, got a phone call from a senior Amazon executive just as the rumors were starting to come out. It was, there was no dialogue. There was no uh, effort to you know, talk about, well, how could we avoid this problem? What could we do to fix this? It was just they made a decision, and they really didn't care about talking to the rest and of us. And what was your immediate reaction? Did you try to convince them otherwise? I was flabbergasted. I said, you know, why on earth, after all the effort that we all have put in, would you simply walk away? It doesn't make sense, given everything uh, that has been done here. And that if they had a concern, why didn't we talk about it and try to address it? But. You know, it's clear they made up their mind on their own, and if that's the way they thought they could be a part of our community, it probably wasn't going to work out anyway. If they thought they could just be an island and not a part of our city. In the end, the government of New York City, the government of New York State, made an agreement with Amazon, stuck to the agreement. I don't know how someone just walks away with no dialogue. I don't know how a company just up and leaves without even an attempt uh, to work out their concerns. That's the root of the problem here. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.